channel. So today, or right now, I am going to be taking the, uh, the John Deere 8360R over to our, uh, our tire place to get new tires, but also new rims. Um, so the tractor is set up, in my opinion, as a planter tractor. It's got narrow tires. Uh, they're set for like 30 inch rows. They're all the tires all line up and It just doesn't we use it for uh, Pushing silage mainly and working ground and when we put it on our field cultivator it The tires on the field cultivator line up right with the uh, tractor tires and uh, when it's a little bit wet, you can make things uneven. You may kind of make holes in the field or trenches. And uh, we're just a fan of the bigger, fatter tires. So we're going to be taking this thing over and uh, getting it set up. There she is. She is a John Deere 8360R. I'm not exactly sure of the year. I do believe it's a 2012, but it is a pre-def machine. Um, bought it used. Uh, we put the LaFord front three-point on it uh, for our blade. These are the tires that come with it. They're... They're just, they're not great. They're not great. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit of tread left, but hardly enough to last last the year. Um, this one is, this one is actually almost bald. So, yeah. So, if you can see it, this tire's line straight up. It does turn good, but... Yeah, it's got power. We have it. Uh, it's dynoed at 378 horse. So it's got the power. Uh, but yeah, we're just, we can be able to put it to the ground. So, yeah, we'll get her fired up and take off here. Alright, so I'm heading down the road now. Uh, so just looking at this here, this has 3,900 and uh, almost 37 hours. So that makes this one of our lowest hour uh, tractors that we own. Um, might be the lowest one actually. Uh, but we're we're planning on with this. With these new tires and uh, sizes and uh, the way we have it set up it's just the way we we, uh, we need it to be um, and with the power it has it should be able to handle what we need it for for uh, for quite some time at least that's that's the plan we we're uh, it's a nice tractor and it just hasn't quite fit the uh, um, the role that we need it to so we're hoping with this this new a little bit of tweaking in the new tires that uh when we get it to where we want it to so anyway i'm excited i think we're all excited uh this is definitely going to be cheaper than buying a new tractor which is something we've talked about getting rid of this while it still had a fair bit of value but it's something we're all all in agreement on and i uh we're pretty hopeful it's going to work out the way we want it to so it's so another thing that we kind of have gotten used to in all our tractors is foot pedal uh, driving down the road all my I drive almost all the tractors like a car uh, with most of them are IVT and I just use my foot pedal as an accelerator like in your your uh, 
your car. So, but when you're pushing, it's nice not have to throttle up and down. That's just one less lever to move with your hand where you're, you got to use the, the gear shifter with your right hand and also the blade up, down, and sideways. Um, yeah, it's just nice to be able to feel like you're in a little more control, like when you're going down the road, so. Um, but yeah, that's that's one thing that's nice for a push tractor, and we have in most of our tractors, so. We, we will put foot pedals in tractors that we buy used that don't have them because we're so used to them anymore, and we like them. All right, so this tractor does have an IVT transmission. Um... So you have your F1, F2, and reverse right there in part. Uh, unfortunately, this does not have a left-hand reverse, which would be right here. Um, that makes it a little bit more difficult for pushing. It would be a lot nicer to just flip it with your uh, left hand here. Um, that really is about the only bad thing about pushing with this tractor pushing silage with it uh, it only has a top speed of 26 which doesn't go down the road much that's fine so I was wondering what I was gonna do today and I realized that plastic needs cut as you can see there it's overflowing on the end there so I'm gonna need to throw back the tires and stack as many as I can but I'm kind of running out of pulls here so that's not good. I'll, I'll probably end up having to eventually take some of these tires off. So I just got done stacking this pole with tires and that means I have no more poles left on this side to use. So I'm going to have to end up using the three over here. I'll probably save them for today, but I'm going to have to take some tires off today because there's not going to be enough room for those poles and I'd rather do it today while it's still a bit warm out. But. The weather can be a really big uh, influencer on how, how fast this job gets done, and right now it's, it takes a while, so... So I just got tires stacked on this pole, so completely out of poles to use on this side now and I got three poles over there and as you can see that is not going to be enough for this uh, bunker here so I'm going to have to throw some tires off and I'm going to throw them in the bunk in the in the bucket there and then dump them somewhere else to make it more efficient finished throwing all the tires back and now we're ready to cut cut along here probably a little more than a week's worth because it's going to be pretty cold next week and then we'll go ahead and get all the plastic in this uh, bucket here because it gets pretty heavy right now because all the snow and ice and then we'll go ahead and dump it 